This is the GoPro Max, a 360 degree camera which I purchased in April of 2021. Despite the fact that it has got insane image quality and stabilization, or the fact that it survived the fall off of my motorcycle at about 65 kilometers an hour, I am likely to never purchase another GoPro product in my life again. You see, yesterday I headed out with my mate Wolf to go and film my goodbye 2022 video, a video in which I would thank the 176 subscribers for supporting this channel. We headed out to Vista and once we stopped in Feliersdorp I noticed but this camera's red light is staying on and none of the button presses or anything is working. So basically my camera was completely frozen. After the 200 kilometer round trip which took roughly five hours of our time where now I couldn't get any of the footage from we returned home and I went and sat through the GoPro website troubleshooting guide to try and resolve the issues on the GoPro. After this didn't work I managed to get in touch with one of the their GoPro support agents so that I could try and locate a service center where I could take it to be reflashed. At this point I assumed this must be a software lock or something so if I just send it in I can get it reflashed and get my camera back and working. The GoPro technician explained to me that they don't actually have service or repair centers and that GoPro's business model only does exchanges provided the camera is within its warranty period of one year. Now, obviously, if you do the math, I've had this camera for a little bit longer than a whole year, but only just a little bit. I paid 10,889 Rand for this camera, of which I'd been saving up for a heck of a long time. And my family and friends actually made it possible by gifting me vouchers for my birthday to go towards buying this camera. To have this camera fail on me after only 18 months is actually a massive disappointment because like I said, I spent almost 11K on this camera and that's not little money if you're coming from South Africa. The GoPro support technician did offer me a little bit of a coupon code or a voucher off of my next GoPro purchase. But as I explained to him, what is the point in buying another GoPro product, even if it's discounted, if after 18 months it's gonna fail and there's nothing you guys can do to help me. Now, not only am I disappointed by the fact that the hardware has just completely failed for no reason, or the lack of the after sales service, but a lot of the features that I was looking forward to in the editing side of things sit behind a paywall. For example, if I film in 60 FPS and want to slow something down to 30 FPS, that functionality within the GoPro app is locked. You have to pay a premium subscription, a monthly subscription, just to be able to use that feature. I also have this really cool feature called edits, which with the app you can do like two or three edits and then you get the paywall notification. So they're very sneaky because you get a taste for what this function can do within the app and it's really cool and you think hey this is nice I can make really cool good quality videos using this functionality and all of a sudden paywall notification pops up in front of you and they're trying to schnei you. I paid 11,000 Rand for a camera the least it could do is allow me to have full access on the application suite. But anyways, I'm not really sure about what's going to happen in 2023 because obviously I was relying on using this GoPro as part of my content creation workflow for the upcoming year. I do want to bring you guys some good content next year, so I do hope that you will subscribe to this channel to help me get to 200 subscribers before the start of 2023. Also, I'd like to ask if you give this video a big thumbs up and maybe even leave a comment down below so that the YouTube algorithm can recommend this video to as many people as possible so that someone at GoPro can realize just how bad their after-sales service is and how it's affecting real-life customers who aren't sponsored by GoPro to promote their products. I do hope this video finds you well and if you want to help me get a new camera that's not a GoPro why don't you check the link in the description for my Patreon site you can become a patron to help support this channel so I can go and get a different better 360 camera. Other than that I want to thank every single one of you guys for your support because without you guys watching without your subscriptions all of this is for nothing. I do hope that 2023 brings you a prosperous year and whatever life is throwing at you, just remember, don't look down, look ahead. And until next time, ride safe.